Good morning YouTube. It is morning. Um, yesterday was a bit of a bit of a ball up on my part to be honest. Um, hoped I wasn't going to be down on the plot today. Hoped I was going to be able to have a day off. Uh, but as it turns out, when I got home to review the footage, yes girls, I'm sorting you out. That's them asking to come out. Um, when I got home and reviewed the footage last night, discovered that uh, there must have been at least four occasions where I hadn't pressed record. So I've come down today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick sort of whip around what, I've, what I did yesterday that I didn't record. Um, and... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more stuff. There is, there is, there's always stuff to do. Um, so I, I am gonna do some more stuff. I'm gonna, uh, well, I'll tell you, tell you what I'm going to do as I'm going round. Sorry. Um, if the wind noise is too bad, it is a little bit breezy. It's not windy, but it's a little bit breezy. I'll, I'll voice over the whole thing. So I'm gonna flip you round and talk you through what I've been up to. The first job I actually did yesterday, which was an unintended job, but it was one of those that sort of I've started to sort of finish jobs. Finally got the polytunnel tidied up, just uh, it's considerably better than it was. Got all the beds raked over, all cleared. What I've done down here is I've put some pallet tops on top of my raised beds, and what that'll do is it'll act as my nursery for my young plants. I know there's some mould on these, but, or not mould, what do they call it? Moss. Um, but I'm not overly fussed about it. There my mother plants for my strawberries. And that bed's covered. It's not It's not covered for any reason other than I needed somewhere to store those big sheets of plastic in the hope that they would dry out before they go into uh, into the lockup for storage. It's the only reason it's there. So all I literally all I did was, I've moved all me, oh, I forgot my secateurs. I moved all my, 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 my pots that were here, just to one side, this big piece of wood that was here I finally got rid of. Tidied up and cleaned out all the old 30 litres that aren't in use at the moment. What I actually wanted to do was bring down my secateurs and give them a grapevine, uh, a prune, and I'm probably, when I do prune it, gonna cut it back to about here. Because I don't want to lose the, the bit of training that I've done. Uh, so I'll probably, there's, there's two or three buds here, so I'll probably cut it here on this one. Uh, I'll probably cut it sort of back here, there's a bud back here. But I'm not overly bothered about this shoot, whether it grows or not. Um, you do have to be quite severe with grapevines. Um, I've done my research, it does seem as though this is the time when you do it. So, I'll do it and see what happens, eh? So, that'll be trimmed right back and hopefully you'll get grapes on the new growth. I thought grapes grew on second growth, second year, but uh, se yeah, second year, but apparently not. Blueberries, uh, one of them, uh, the second one that I did is looking a bit worse for wear. The first one that I did is looking quite healthy, so there might be some new blueberry bushes in my future. We shall have to wait and see. Uh, cleared up all the, uh, or a lot of all the, a lot of the rubbish that was, that was on the plot. Because at the moment the council have said there's an area down at the bottom end of the allotments where we can we can dump stuff um, because they're having a big push to to uh, to to repopulate the empty plots. The biggest thing that I did yesterday, and I only did it because I had to move this. This was blocked by something that was blocked by something that meant the easiest way to sort it out was to build myself this. Uh, this is going to be one of the jobs for today, is, is going to be lining and protecting the wood uh, off on the inside and then hopefully filling it with the contents of that. Now well, the contents of that is, oh god, uh, the stuff in the bottom half, the bottom probably two thirds actually, is well over a year old. So what I'm going to try and do is get the, the, the stuff that's on the top in the bottom of here and then obviously fill it with the stuff and then... Anyway, what's going to be, what, what is this? Well this is a 12 foot long 
by three and a half foot wide, raised bed obviously. Um, and what this is going to be is an asparagus bed. There's going to be asparagus going in here. Um, I have ordered 30 asparagus plants. There isn't room for 30 in here, but I've ordered some redundancy. You expect a degree of failure with bare root. Um, now is a good time to be doing your asparagus beds. Sorry, um, in case you didn't hear that. Now is a good time to be making and prepping your asparagus beds because um, especially if you're putting crowns in uh, they will be going in where are we March time mid-march um, that's when they really should be going in the ground so what I will be able to do is get two good rows I'll actually plant in blocks because I've got different varieties coming but what I'll be able to do is get two good rows in here and this bed will be pretty much exclusively asparagus depending on how many failures I get in the plants that I've ordered um, or how many don't look you know um, but I mean if, the thing about ordering from somewhere like Marshall's is if you if you write to them and say look you know half a dozen of the 30 plants that I've ordered are absolute garbage they will do it they will do right by you and they generally always say right we'll send you some replacements out and generally actually they always say keep the ones you've got because you know nine times out of ten you've already planted them or you've, you've planted the ones that were healthy and sort of getting them sent back they ain't gonna last the shipping so what you know what, what what's the point in sending them back um, and that's that's pretty much it folks the the elephant garlic everything like that you've seen there's no changes there um, I haven't got my um, fruit bed dug out yet sorry to put my hand on the lens um, but yeah the plans for today really I get this lined and filled I'm not lining the bottom I'm just was as I did with the p-frame as you can see I did opt for the covering um, as I did with that I'm just gonna line round the sides just to help the wood last a bit longer um, and that's, I'm hoping that, the, that, that, that this will fill it if not what I am gonna do in fact I might do it first I don't know no I'm gonna put this in first and then if I need it I've got a load of leaf mould in there that I can use on the top as well uh, and that'll have a good sort of two three months what I can do then is cover this uh, to encourage sort of worms and things to come up and, and, and break everything down um, so yeah that's that's gonna be it. I'm gonna time-lapse everything from 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 here on out um, I might voice over I can't decide whether to do a bite size in fact will you guys let me know in the comments below please I'm thinking the next bike size I'm going to discuss we're coming up to, to planting season and I've mentioned it in today's bike size today is Wednesday about the zoning about um, now obviously to, to someone like the Americans that, that do that, that watch the channel they know all about their zoning but obviously their country's considerably larger than us here in the UK but even here in the UK there is a difference between when I'm going to use two. I'm going to use uh, two of the larger YouTubers here. I'm not going to link to them. I'm just going to mention them so you can go and check their channels out if you want. You've got digging for dinner, D digging for dinner. Joe Mills digging for dinner. Um, he's down in the south south end of the country. He's not at the southern southernmost points, but he's down in the south end of the country. Sorry. Um, and then you've got Tony C. Smith up in the north end of the country now when Joe plants seeds is a diff going to be a different time to when Tony plants the same seeds um, the back of the seed packets for example you know they, they, they give you sort of two or three months planting sp space and that is to an extent for those of you that you know forget to plant your seeds but there are other reasons behind it so let me know if in the description, in, in the comments below, whether you would like to hear more about that. Um, it would certainly, it would be a short video, but I think it's a valuable one for the, the, for the new growers um, who are reading, because I mean books, once again, I endorse books. There's two that get the spade to fork approval um, that I currently use. But the thing about books is they're rigid, the, the, the information can't change, it doesn't, 
update it doesn't take into everything into account one of them does talk about it a lot but month by month does talk about it um, but they, they, they're so rigid and they leave a lot of things out like for example the experiment I'm doing with the Greyhound cabbage that's through reading online new and up-to-date things about new varieties that were may or may not have been available at the point of publishing So of course, the books don't mention them. But anyway, we're getting off subject. Let me know in the comments below whether you would like me to talk about the zoning of, of, of planting, of, of, of more specifically the UK. I apologise to those of you overseas, um, but if I was to cover all the countries, the video would be far too long. And I think, you know, you Americans from sort of seeing you in Facebook groups and talking to you, you, you guys have got it down, you guys know what zone you're in, you know what impact that has on your crops and you know what you can and cannot grow. Here in, in the UK I think it's, people aren't aware because we're such a small country that it has so much of an impact. So I, th I do think it is worth talking about. But I'd like to hear what you guys think. So let me know, let me know on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I've got all of them. I'll put links in the description below. Grab me on one of those platforms, let me know. Um, preferably this one, because it keeps everything in one place. So on YouTube, in the comments below. Not on Facebook, but on YouTube. Let me know, let me know what you think. Would, is that something you, you, you think you need to know more about? If it is, I'll do you a, uh, what do I call it, a desktop lecture. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna crack on, so I'll see you in a bit, guys. comes up just as I come out to record it's getting there you see I've uh, I mean you'll see you'll have seen on the time-lapse that uh, I've moved a, a few barrels of soil just some that I had in some beds that uh, that I used last year for for the excess onions and garlic um, that, I, that I never intended on using so a bit cathartic really because the soil that I've put on top of there actually came out of that corner, so it's actually going back to where it came from, which is all right. Uh, I'm just going to go back in the shed, actually, where it's a bit less windy, a little bit less noisy, and turn the lights on. Right, well, I'm calling that a day. I'm, I'm done for today now. Um, I finished off my P frame. I just need to bring down some vice grips and some decent pliers to pull some of the wires tight and I need to get some more staples when I've got a few quid. Um, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polytunnel's tidy, polytunnel's ready to go. Asparagus bed, 
should be ready to go. I'm, I'm quite confident that that will actually be okay. Um, I was a bit downhearted when I uh, took the material out of the compost bin and it wasn't broken down anywhere near as much as I wanted, but I think it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Uh, once I get some, some uh, let that bed in for a, for a week or two, hopefully we'll get some rain and some ice. Um, and then I'll, I'll put, uh, that should then hopefully have dropped by an inch or two, so I'll put an inch or two of alpaca on top of that. And then I'll cover it up for two months, month and a half, two months, depending on when the crowns actually turn up. And then hopefully, if I get a couple of big bags of compost then, yes it'll be mounded to start with, but you do sort of plant your asparagus on mounds anyway, because uh, he doesn't want to be sat in wet soil. And it was always my intention to top it off with some compost from the shops anyway. So, I think, uh, I mean obviously you're gonna see the bed when I plant the compost in it, when I plant the compost in it, when I plant the asparagus in it, but apart from that, I'm not really gonna do much with it. Like I say, I'm gonna contact the ladies who I get the alpaca manure from, see if I can get another load at the end of the month. I need some for in the polytunnel as well anyway, so I need to go get some. Um, and then like I say, I can uh, I can layer that then with some, some alpaca manure. Um, I could use cardboard instead of black plastic. I know a lot of people are gonna say that. Um, but I want the heat that the black plastic is going to give it. I've already got some cut so That I use elsewhere on the plot so I can just throw that over the top Weight it down and let it sit for like I say it should get it should get a good month month and a half Maybe even two months depending on when the crowns turn up um, Obviously that all depends on Marshalls really that's where I've ordered them from But aside from all that guys um, there's not a great deal of jobs to be done in January. You should still just be getting ready. Um, and if you're ready, you should be enjoying your downtime, really. Um, it's the slow and steady sort of bits and pieces now up until uh, up until spring. So you could, if you want to, dig, start digging your potato troughs. I was toying with the idea, but chances are with the rain and the frosts we're going to get, half of the material that you dig out is just going to fall back in anyway. At least it would here. Um, so I'm not going to um, You could still be digging your plot. That's perfectly acceptable um, Especially if you're leaving big clods then the frost will get to that you can start chitting your potatoes your first early your main crops They can start be chitting um, Wednesday's video. I talk all about chitting potatoes and I, and I put some of mine out. I am going to get some more um, But I just bought them for the purpose of the video actually I shall get the rest now probably end of the month really end of January um, into February uh, what else can you be doing you can still be planting planting your broad beans um, inside or under glass you can be planting your onion seeds your shallot seeds they can all go in now uh, your spring onions your leeks they can be planted now and um, depending on variety I use um, guardsmen but there's a Japanese variety called Ishikura they can go in now uh, leeks, mussel bro, they can go in now. I'm putting some cabbage um, greyhound in now. Towards the end of the month where I am in central England, um, I'm going to be putting some cauliflowers in towards the end of the month. Uh, all this will be, I mean, I'll cover this more in detail on a bite size, but I'm thinking the next bite size we're going to talk about planting zones and, and the difference between the north and the south of the country. Um, I think that's, that would be some valuable information. But, as always, when it comes to the bike size, what I cover is down to you guys. So, in the comments below on the YouTube video, tell me what you'd like me to cover in a bike size. If I can cover it in a little 10 minute video, then it'll be a bike size episode. Uh, if I can't, we might talk about it whilst I, uh, I do some digging and stuff like that, we'll see. Um, but let me know, please, like and subscribe and comment Hit that bell icon um, next to the subscribe button because uh, apparently it's YouTube have changed something which makes that now more important. Um, but please like, please subscribe, please comment um, on the YouTube, not on the Facebook. Uh, I don't always get them on the Facebook. I'm having a lot of issues with Facebook at the moment. Um, 
so please head on over to Instagram, Twitter, links are in the description, but you can always comment on YouTube and I will always reply. So, till next time, I'll see you later.